Hey everyone! Welcome, welcome! Today is September 2nd, and this is Floss Tube number 20. Uh, my name is Candace. Uh, on Instagram, K 31 On Ravelry, K 31 um, And this is a channel about stitching. So I decided today that I'll show my whips. Um, I don't have much else aside from cross stitch to show. There's just a smidge of knitting and no quilting. Um, but then I think I'm going to do a whip parade because I've made some decisions. And um, I figured I got some organizing done with all of my cross stitch projects yesterday and got everything all in one place so that now it's much easier for me just to see what I've got going on instead of just digging through my bags. So, uh, not a lot going on. The boys are doing school right now. We just had lunch and then we went outside. It's actually quite a bit warmer than I thought it was. Uh, three quarter sleeves. Don't need them. Uh, I don't even know. It says it's 76 outside, but, um, it's very humid. So, um, I started sweating almost immediately. <laughs> I was like, go run to the corner and back because they needed to get the wiggles out today. Uh, things have been going pretty good. Uh, Evan, my first grader, does not want to do Zoom school. He wants to go to school. Um, he hasn't been sleeping so great the past couple of nights. Um, my husband said at least the last two nights anyway, he's gotten up, um, kind of like sleepwalking, but he comes out and he says some weird stuff to my husband and then my husband goes and puts him back to bed. And it's just, um, he said last night when he put him back to bed, he said, I don't want to do Zoom school. And then he told me the same thing this morning. He doesn't remember getting up last night, but um, I think it's just his little brain is just in overdrive right now. So um, the dog has actually slept with him the last two nights. I don't know if she instinctively knows that she needs to, because when she sleeps with him, she sleeps on the outside of the bed and his bed's against the wall. So he sleeps in between her and the wall. Um, so I'm assuming that probably keeps him from getting up after that. He's never gotten up after we've gone to bed. It's always been within an hour or two of him going to bed. So, I don't know. I worry. I worry about him just all of a sudden falling down the stairs because he doesn't know where he's going. So, um, an interesting new development. But otherwise, um, Owen's doing great. I don't usually have to check on him. Once in a while, uh, I'll just pop in and be like, hey, you doing okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm good. So, I actually did get some stitching done the last couple of days and a little bit of knitting. So, um, real quick, I did, I am still on the floor. I still don't have a desk. Uh, I'm waiting for that email from Ikea saying, hey, your desk is in stock so I can go get it. I'm not having it shipped here. It will cost almost as much as the desk itself to get it shipped. I mean, it's just, the shipping is ridiculous. So, um, no, I will drive over there and get it. But this right here is um, kind of like, I don't know if they consider it like a, it's like a long bolero. I don't know, because a bolero is like short. But this, you can wear it uh, this way. You can flip it over and wear it the other way. It looks exactly the same both ways. So these little sleeves right here have cables on them and then around the sides. And then it's ribbed all the way around and there's a cable running down the back. So I figured I would pull it up so you could see it on Ravelry. That is the back of mine. And I know it's probably not going to focus very well, but um, if you go on Ravelry and you want to see any of my projects that I've done in the past, um, they are, it's just Candace K31. But the yarn I used was... Uh, Knit Picks Swish Bulky, and it was Rainforest Heather. So I love the color. Um, I'm not comfortable wearing it right now just because I've gained some weight. And um, when I do put it on, I look like I'm pregnant. So I don't need any more of those comments. Um, but the pattern is called Chateau, and it's by Melissa Shashwari. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, but on... Let me see. On Ravelry, her username is Dandelion Girl. 
So um, it's Dandelion and then GRL. So um, you can find her on Ravelry. Here's her page. Uh, you know, there's got to be a way to focus this better. But so she's the designer, Dandelion Girl Designs of Chateau. I, I love it. Uh, I wore it all the time last winter. And then uh, the quarantine. Wait. So uh, I'll go through the, the knitting stuff just real fast. I'm sure you guys remember I was doing the um, the Sharon Show Mystery Knit Along and I had the, the bright colors. I had the gray and then the pink, the green, and the blue. Um, you know, the more I thought about it after my last video, the more I was like, I'm not going to wear this. It just wasn't speaking to me. I mean, I love Cass Pinka. She's an amazing designer, but this design just was not for me. Um, so I ripped it out. Because if you don't love it, why work on it, right? So instead, I pulled out my tasting menu. And since I did figure out pictures, things will pop up for you. Um, so you can see, like, the finished. But this is, this was actually a... a knit along that I started in January and obviously I didn't finish but so this was the first side so we started right here in the middle I want to make sure I'm showing you the right side and then this was the one side and now I'm on the second side and I have a little bit more of this color blue there's some lace right there and then I will be on my last color so I'm pretty excited because there's not a there's not a whole lot of knitting left to this, and then it'll be a lot of weaving ends and blocking. So I'm actually using a combination of yarns. It's all sunshine yarns, but they're from different uh, like mini gradient sets. And then I have, um, or I had a full skein of this gray. So um, again, all my notes for all my knitting projects are on Ravelry. So you just go to Candace K31. If for some reason it won't let you see my projects, let me know because I don't know if I need to share those publicly if you don't have a Ravelry account. Um, it's been so long since anyone without a Ravelry account has looked at my projects, so I don't know if it's different now. Um, so I did work on that because I knew I had the Hohe Fall Knit Along starting. This is my most favorite knitting event of the year. Uh, any of her patterns can be knit during this time. It runs from September 1st to November 30th. Uh, Signups are now closed, but you can still join in. You're just not eligible for prizes. So if you still want to have fun and see all of the amazing stuff other people are doing, um, everything is broken down to different teams. So there's like Team Pullover, Team Cardigan, Team Shawls. Uh, team Smalls and I think it's Team Wraps. I'm not sure. But um, it's neat because say you're knitting a cardigan. Everyone in your group in that thread is also knitting a cardigan. And you can go through the list and see who else is knitting the exact same thing as you, what yarn they're using. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I went through last night because my first project, um, <laughs> this is such an amazing bag, you guys. So, oh, hey, some thread, whatever. Hey, you know what? I have a trash can right here. Um, benefits of sitting on the floor, I guess. This bag is, it's got a clip in the middle. This is how I try and keep my cap out of it. So, um, I don't know exactly how you pronounce her name. It's either Tani or Tanai Casey. She is on, it's T-A-N-N-E-I. Casey. Um, she's on Etsy. She's also on Instagram. And she makes amazing bags. <sighs> I just love this bag. I just love it with all my little heart. Um, I got this. I can't even remember exactly when I got this. But um, I use this for either larger shawl projects or... Um, like sweaters. Um, I don't make blankets usually ever. 
Um, I had intentions one time, but didn't do it. So this is holding my yarn. I know it's kind of a mess right now because when you use hand dyed yarn, uh, especially in a sweater, you want to, um, well, there we go. Now I know what's going on here. Just one of the ends came loose. You want to alternate skeins. So like you'll do a round with one and then you'll do a round with another one. Because if you can see, these are not exactly the same. This one is darker than this one, caked up. So you never know with hand dyed yarns if you're gonna have a skein that's a little bit darker. Even if they're dyed at the exact same time, they will never be the exact same color when they're hand dyed. So um, I did, I started this yesterday. This is basic raglan pullover. And so my needles are basically in the front, kind of. Like here's the front right here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see because the color's so dark. So I did the ribbing and then I started working on the short rows for the back. So this just makes it lay more like a, a regular shirt, how it comes down a little bit here but stays up on the back of your neck. Um, so there's short row shaping in the back. But I, I wish you could see this color in person. It's, it is very dark, but there are a bunch of like awesome light. I guess that's pretty close. I just love it. So basic raglan pullover from Hohi Locatelli. This is for the Hohi Fall Knit Along. And I cast this on yesterday. Um, I believe everyone cast it on yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to wait when everyone else is casting on. So um, this should be a pretty quick knit. It's a very basic sweater. Um, I mean, the pattern itself is only like three pages long. Uh, it's all stockinette stitch. It's You're just basically knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and around. Uh, and then I had told you guys that I'm also going to do the grandpa cardigan. Oh, and this yarn is Madeline Tosh. Uh, the color is Daenerys, like from Game of Thrones. Um, so I told you guys I was going to do Grandpa Cardigan also. And this is the yarn I'm using for that. This is Knit Picks. Um, City Tweed. It's a DK weight yarn. And the color is Porpoise. It's a porpoise. But I love Tweedy yarns. And I've made a sweater out of this yarn before um, in a color called Kitten. It's like a light tan color. I love it. What, I'll put it up here maybe like next week. But um, so Grandpa Cardigan is going to be made out of this. And I actually swatched for this sweater last year. And my, my knitting hasn't changed. So I'm not going to swatch again. But um, I will start this one when Basic Raglan is done. So that's the yarn for those. So that's it for knitting. The whole plan is whenever I have time, like... Um, Today, the reason I'm doing this while they have school is we have dentist appointments at 3.30. They get done with school at 3. Just the youngest and I have dentist appointments. Um, the oldest used to go at the same time as my husband, and then the schedules got all mixed up. So he actually goes in either October or November. I can't remember. But Evan and I have dentist appointments today. So I will take this sweater, and I will just work on it while he's in with the dentist. And then when it's my turn... Um, my husband will pick them up because they have swim. I feel like I can't really call it swim lessons anymore because they know how to swim, but it's more like um, more techniques, you know, diving, wading, or uh, like treading water, stuff like that. So um, so they have swim at 445. So he's going to get out of work, change, come and pick them up from the dentist. And the dentist is only like four blocks from the YMCA. So um, they will do swim. And I was like, I gotta get this video done while they're doing school, or it's never gonna get done today. So, that's it for the knitting. Let's roll on into cross stitch. Um, I'm gonna show my whips first, just because it's gonna be easier that way. Uh, you guys know that, and I printed a new picture. Look, you can see it now, except the printer at work, it like, kind of folded the paper a little bit as it printed. So all of my pictures that I printed have this weird, like, like, <laughs> textured, no ink. But anyway, so this is mini citrine. 
I am using this for the Stitch Talk Hade Challenges group uh, for at least 30 stitches a day for 100 days. We are now on day 33. And I started stitching this morning. I just need to finish up. I think I've done like um, like 35 stitches so far. Uh, but I'm also using it for Full Coverage Fanatics for the Tour de France. This was like a last minute thing that they threw out there. And I'm like, well, I already did Tour de France uh, when it would have originally been run in a non-Olympic year. So why not do it again? So today, I, I want to say today's like 183 stitches. I think that's right. So um, I'll just stitch 183 stitches on this today. So here is where she is. And hopefully you're seeing where she was. So I've gotten a lot of this done. This is the area I'm concentrating on right now is all that dark right there. Still loving it, and I looked today because I was curious. I'm at 32%. I am almost, almost a third of the way done with this chart. Yay! So the next one, oh, that's so funny. My needle minders are sticking together. Um, you know, it might help if I was looking at... Uh, the end of August and not the end of July. Um, oh yeah. So I did get some work on Autumn Glows. Uh, this is a chart by Little Dove Designs. It is just so much fun to stitch. So I did get a little more done, but not a lot because I got sidetracked. So there's where it is now. So I got a wee bit more done. Not a ton, but a little bit. And then, oh my scissors are stuck to the back. I can't find my scissors, I just gotta find a needle minder and there's probably a pair of scissors stuck to it. It's usually how things go. So I'm trying to make sure that I put all this stuff back in bags. Uh, oops. Put the chart back in there because I do not want to have to um, reorganize all of this stuff afterward. So then this is what I got sidetracked by. This is Fairy Autumn Glow from Nora Corbett. She's beautiful. I don't know if I'll do the other seasons, but I, and we've, I've mentioned it before. Um, I love, autumn is my favorite season. It's my absolute favorite. Probably why I'm in a three quarter sleeve shirt today. Cause I just want it to be autumn. So there she is. And I had to really dig back for a picture of where she was before, because of course I forgot to take one before I started working on her. So here's where she is now. So this is her dress. I love it. I love the colors in it. Um, I love the fabric. It's This is 16 count beach walk Ada. Uh, the called for was beach walk but in linen or Ada. And I decided at the time I started this, I did not feel comfortable uh, using linen. So this is on Ada. I love the way it looks. Um, however, there's definitely some, um, there were some mistakes, some counting mistakes. So I'm just making it work because I'm not ripping out these areas. I mean, one of them is this huge red section. I was off a stitch this way. I'm just adding in. I mean, it'll be fine. I have plenty of fabric. It's not going to be noticeable. No one's going to look at the chart and then look at my fairy and be like, oh, she messed that up. So... That's Fairy Autumn Glow, and I have everything for this already, so um, I've never beaded before. So, I'll be learning. Unless I do that Mill Hill kit that I got um, two weeks ago first, this will probably be my first beading project. And then, 
The last thing I worked on, keep organized here, this is Let's Talk Autumn by Hands On Design. Working on the big one. And I am using a 28 count dusty green Jobelin. And I'm sorry, it was all rolled up in here, so. So there I am. And this is gonna be Apple underneath this little mug. It'll say Apple. Um, this got pulled out, like my kids went outside and were riding bikes and I just grabbed it um, because I knew it would be easy. Oh, hey. Let's try that again without the floss attached to it. Um, I knew it would be easy to stitch on while they were outside playing. So it didn't get a ton of stitches put in it, but it did get some stitches put in it. So I'm telling you, I got sidetracked by that fairy autumn glow. I just had this urge to stitch on that Nora Corbett fairy. And so I did, because you know, arbitrary August. However, it is no longer August. And that was it for whips. So let's go through plans for September. Uh, I, I was debating because a lot of people are doing like sampler September or sale September. Um, and I decided I'm not starting anything new until Hello Dear starts at the end of September. Um, I'll talk to that when I get to um, the, the like couple of charts I purchased this week, but uh, I think I'm going to do, and I said it wasn't final until I said it on my floss tube, so I'm going to do Linen and Threads Mystery 2020 um, Sampler Knit Along. I am woefully behind. I, hold on a second. I thought I had those in better order. Well, you'd think I would have had them in better order, but I didn't. So, uh, I, I guess I'll show it when I, hold on. I'll find it. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm a goof. They were right in the front. I just didn't see them. Um, both of these have been around for a little while. So they're in just the regular Amazon A4 size bags. So Linen and Threads, if it wants to open, this is, they're on the ninth part right now. So this is what we should be having right now. I don't have that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not terribly far behind, but I'm behind. And this is on 28 count um, light gray Jobelin. Get the right side here. There, I think I got it all in there. So I'm not terribly behind, but I'm behind. Um, I am using DMC in different shades of purple. So I have one variegated, it's DMC 52. And you can kind of see it like in this one right here. And then the other ones are all colors that come out of that variegation just to try and like, um, I didn't want the whole thing to be variegated, but I wanted to have some, you know, accents of like lighter or darker. Um, that huge motif right there, that sucker took forever. But I want to get caught up on this. So that is one of my um, goals for September is to get caught up on this. And if I do, great. It'll give me more time to work on my other sampler or even um, work on something else because no one says I can't say, oh, hey, you know what? I'm just going to work on whatever I want. Uh, the other one that I want to work on, this was... Um, I started this when Erin Two Martini Stitcher, this is Long Dog Samplers, Game of Swans. Uh, Erin did the 
like spearheaded the Long Dog Leap Day sale back in February. So I started this on Leap Day this year and I love it. I did a conversion of DMC because I didn't have all of the colors at the time. Uh, I hadn't quite, I've only been stitching since November. So I didn't have quite the stash that I have now. Um, I did buy fabric for it, but the DMC I kind of substituted for whatever was closest in my stash. Um, it actually is turning out really good though. So this is, um, I'm trying to think, hold on, let me grab my book. I was trying to think what the fabric was. You know what? I think it's back here. There it is. Uh, 32 count silvery moon Lugana. And there's where I am. So I, you know, I've got some done. Um, I just, oh, I just love it. Oh, apparently my needle is just right there in that swan. Sorry. Uh, so because I started this in 2020, I am going to put 2020 on it. Um, who knows? I may change my mind by the time I, you know, get done. I may change my mind, but, um, I will sure for, for, for sure finish it this century. So there's my other goal is to, uh, get some good progress on this. I just didn't want it to, you know, I never took it out on the 29th of every month like other people did. And I didn't, I didn't want to make myself stitch on it if I didn't want to. And I've gotten to the point where the last couple of days I really want to stitch on this. So I'm kind of excited about Sampler September, about doing those two projects. Um, so now, let's go through... I'm actually going to start with the ones that I no longer, uh, that I no longer want to do. I, uh, they just, just not feeling it, just not in love with them. Um, uh, my tastes have changed. The first one is Cherry Hill Stitchery, Welcome to Autumn. This was where I was during Mania. Um, I just, uh, Welcome to Spring. Also, Cherry Hills to Tree. And this was also a Mania start. I mean, they're cute. Don't get me wrong. I just, um, my tastes have just changed. So this one is Welcome to Summer. And sad, sad little start. Two pairs of flip flops. And then Welcome to Winter. So I can hear a kid running around upstairs. So those, I just, I'm not in love. I just don't, I don't, I don't think I will ever pick them back up. Um, I will probably leave them for a little while before I decide whether I'm just going to tear the stitches out or if I'm just going to cut that part off and just use them as scraps. I haven't decided on that part yet. But the other one that I am not a fan of. This was the very first um, Stitch Quarterly release from Fat Quarter Shop. And it's cute. Don't get me wrong. I hate stitching it. I just do not like stitching it. Um, I had this much done. And it is easier to outline and then fill in, but it's so much brown. It's so boring to stitch. I just don't like it. Um, the fabric is nice. It's fabric flare. It's there. It looks like a, um, like shiplap or, you know, like white wood wall kind of. Um, I am considering gifting this entire kit. Well, everything that was in here uh, to someone who wants to stitch it. So I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet. 
because I want to make sure like it comes with this cute little needle tin um oops but it's got a magnet in it for your needles and it just it's so you can put your needles in it and then it has all the floss um the only other thing it came with is the the cross stitch key and I love that thing. It's not going anywhere. So this would be the full kit, except for this was the cross stitch key that they sell by itself now in Fat Quarter Shop. But I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm gonna see. You know, give me some feedback if you guys think there there would be someone that would be interested in taking my UFO and stitching it for themselves and keeping it. Um, I just, I don't like it. So um, if that's the case, I may do that when I hit 500 subscribers. I may do this as a giveaway. So um, everything else I'm keeping, I have, I wanna say right around 30 whips, which is not bad considering what other floss tubers have. But for me, there are some that are kind of big and then there are some that literally would take me a day to finish and I just have not done it yet so let's I'll do my full coverage ones first so this is mini dark goddess and I'm obviously still working on this one I just didn't touch it this week um that's where it is right now all of that is white I mention it every time. Um, so I love it. This sucker's not going anywhere. And then the this one I started. Let me pull out my. I organized all of my. I have three of these cross stitch journals from Fat Quarter Shop. When I first, when I got my first one, I had just started stitching. They had just released these. And I went through and basically every single chart I got, I wrote in here. Hello, newbie mistake. No one ever stitches every single thing that they purchase. It's just not, you know, new things come out, your tastes change. So I went through, I did just move the camera, didn't I? Howie. Is that better? So I went through my first two books. Anything that was a finish that had been finished is in this one. I got this. This was actually a freebie that I won off of Instagram. Um, it is Jody Keach Smith, craftingjournals.com, or you can find this on Amazon. Um, I purchased the Stitch Mania 2021 on Amazon, and I did all of my Stitch Mania stuff in here. Fantastic. It's per the only, the only thing I don't like. I don't take pictures of my stitching. So this is wasted space for me. That's the only reason that I like these ones better. Because there's more room for notes, modifications, stuff like that. I don't need to put a picture in it because I'm either going to have that piece hanging on my wall or it's a seasonal or I don't need a picture in a journal. Um, so that's why I like these ones. But I like this too. So this one contains all my finishes that I've done up to this point. This one has mania stuff in it. And then I took these two and anything that I had as a whip right now went in this third one. If I start something else in one of these, I will just put it in here. So I'm going to hang on to these just so that I have them in case there were any notes that I had on, you know, something that I planned on kidding up but from now on unless I start it it is not going in the book um, it's it's such a waste of space to put in charts that I'm not going to stitch so um, I was going to do these all in order that are in the book but it's kind of hard with my full coverage ones because I keep um, I keep my other two well one's full coverage and one is almost but so this is mini cat or mini autumn cat magic and this is where it's at right now this is a 25 count easy grid 
I mean, I love it, but I really, really want to get mini citrine done, so I've been kind of focusing on that one a little bit more. And then the other one I have that is almost full coverage, but not quite, is the Winter Path, and that's Carolyn Manning Designs. I love it for down here. I absolutely want to put this down here. Um, this is just on a 14 count Ada. No, maybe it's on 16 count. Hold on. Oh, please. Now that I have my handy dandy little book, um, Hey, there we go. I just said, um, sorry. Winter path. Oh, it's in the front. Yes. 16 count. This is, so, this is Artiste Ada from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's not quite as stiff as the regular Ada that you'd get, like, Joann's or, you know, wherever. It's a little bit more flimsy, but for this... I was, I had it in a Q-snap anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, but really, for the, the price, th this is not, I'm okay with this. Maybe I got a really good badge or something. Because I know people have had issues with RT stuff before, but um, I still really like it. I think it's just going to be one of those things that I'm going to want to stitch in the winter because it is winter. I really think I'm more of a stitch the season during the season kind of person than a stitch it months ahead of that season, if that makes any sense. So those are my full coverage, and now, now I can start from the beginning. Now these are not going to be in uh, the order in which they were started, just because of the way the the books were, they're basically in the order that I got the pattern at first. So, Book House is the first one, and I actually printed a better picture because the one I had inside this was getting pretty bad. This is Stone Street Stitchworks. I just love this so much. And I keep plugging along on it. And this is on 28 count, uh, tea dyed Monaco. Like, I didn't tea dye it. It comes this color. So, those trees, those trees are beasts, but I love it. So this one obviously was not going anywhere. And then, next up, oh my goodness. So, the Lizzie Kate Smalls, these were mania starts. And actually, I think Bookhouse was too. Yeah. Bookhouse I started on May 5th. Um, so the smalls were started throughout the month. And really, these are the ones that like a day would be all I would need. So I just did the, the ones that had the actual season on it. So this is spring. I mean, really, one sitting and this would be done. Just, sometimes I'm amazed at myself. Um, this one is Autumn. And then this one is Winter. I mean, for real, right? Hold on. Look at this. Tiny little bit is all I have left. It's like the E. The E and then, what is that, a house? Yes, the E in the house, that's it. What is wrong with me? Why haven't I finished these? <sighs> so, if I end up getting caught up on linen and threads, that might be a goal, is to get all of these little ones done that can get done. I mean, seriously, you guys are probably yelling at the screen right now. Just finish them. I know. And I didn't even realize until I started pulling stuff out how close I was on some of these. I mean, it would take like next to no time to get these done. 
So next up is a year of celebrations. I started this during April's 24 hours of cross stitch. So for each hour or every two hours. So I did January for two hours. Then I did February for two hours. Um, so I will show you where I'm at with these. And I don't know if these are in monthly order or not. Oh, you know what? I think they're backwards. Hold on. Let me flip it over. I'm doing these on uh, 32 count lamb's wool jobelin. So there's January. So these all had two hours of work. I have not touched it since the April um, 24 hours of cross stitch. There's February. And there's March. Here is April. And we have May. There's June. Nah, it's July. There's August. September. I just love that little worm. Here's October. November. And December. So I'm pretty impressed with how much I got done. Um, I did not do 24 hours straight, but I did stitch 24 hours in that weekend. So um, that's another, I mean, these would not take a ton of time to finish up. So I may actually, there's another 24 hours of cross stitch coming up, I think in November. Is it November? I can't remember exactly, but the next 24, I missed the last one because I was going to be out of town um, doing some stuff with my uncle's estate. So the next one, I think I'm going to pull these back out and I'm going to do two hours on each again and see what I can do. Um, so after a year of celebrations, we have Spring Awakening from Little Dove Designs. This is uh, another of the seasons. Um, just like autumn glows. So cute. So cute. So this was a mania start too. So this only got worked on one day. And this is on 14 count platinum Ada. I, j I absolutely love these. My mother-in-law got me winter warm, which I'll show here in just a second. And, um, I had to get the rest of the seasons because I just fell in love. So this one is Summer Blooms. And then this one is on 14 count natural Ada. I got all of these Adas for this set at Joann's. So that's where I got that day. Pretty impressed with myself for getting started on that house because I've been kind of avoiding the house in autumn glows. And then, sorry, um, Winter Warmth. All of these bags, I made all of them. I didn't buy them from anywhere, so that's why I'm not saying anything about them. So this is the one my mother-in-law got me. It was on my wish list, one, two, three, stitch, last Christmas. And I was so excited to get this chart. And I'm doing this one on, I want to say it's Light Aqua. Oh, light seafoam green, 14 count light seafoam green Ada. How about I show you the front? I, I mean, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Uh, last night when I was organizing these and putting them in order after I got home from work, I just wanted to pick this up and stitch it so bad. Um, but now, sampler September. I can, do, I can get caught up on this. I can do it. Uh, the next one is Seasons in Chalk Art Summer. Now, I did not get a chance to print another one of this, and I'm sorry. Because this paper is just a mess. So this was in Just Cross Stitch Magazine 2016. Uh, Hands-on Design and Priscilla Blaine. 
So I am doing, I have mentioned before that I changed the colors just a little bit, but it is on 14 count black Ada. And I apologize for all the wrinkles. <laughs> so that's where it is right now. So cute. And I do have a lot of the back issues of Just Cross Stitch Magazine, so I have all the seasons for that um, digitally. So I will probably... Um, I will probably do the rest of them. Now this one, I'm a little, ugh, I'm torn on. This is Animal Almanac from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. We are up to September. There's just three months to go. Obviously I'm behind. Because why wouldn't I be? So this is on um, 28 count tea dyed monica. No, this is not. This is on Mushroom Lugana, 28 count Mushroom Lugana. I put the wrong thing in my chart. So there's where I am. Four months. The thing is, I'm not really feeling it now. I mean, it's super cute, but I don't know what I would do with it after I get done with it. I just don't know. So this one's up in the air. I don't. It's adorable. I just don't really feel like it's something I really want to stitch on anymore. Um, this fabric is amazing too. But um, it is, it's super cute. It, these animals are adorable and I can't even imagine the time that Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery puts into this, into designing this. Um, so this one is up in the air. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. Any ideas let me know I feel really bad just like scrapping it because I did four months on it uh, so the next one is welcome to the forest and I have all the charts for this so this is the banner and then there's pink forest cottage this one is blue forest cottage um, Raccoon and Friends, Fox and Friends, uh, Deer, and Bear. So I have all of these. I am stitching them all in one piece. This was a Mania start. And it's on 28 count tea dyed Monaco. And this is where I got during Mania. This was one day of stitching. This is the border that can be found on um, Country Cottage Needlework's website. They have free borders for a lot of their like series charts like that so that you can stitch them all in one. So the banner goes here and then all of the rest will go down this way. So this is one of those, ooh, that's a really big project. Like, why did I start that for Mania? Um, but I still think it's cute. I still... Oh my gosh. <laughs> my son just scared me half to death. Hold on. So my son drew me a picture. We're playing Minecraft. What did you say? We're... Trying to get some elytra in the end. We're trying to get some elytra in the end. I know the end is like... Scary place, right? It's the end of Minecraft. Oh, it's the end of Minecraft. Okay. So you have to defeat the Ender Dragon, and then you go back to the overworld. Oh. Well, there you have it, folks. So, this is us. My son Evan and I. Thanks, baby. All right. Get back up there. Mr. Ricketts will be waiting for you. I mean, really, how cute is that, right? Okay, so let's see. All right, that was Welcome to the Forest. So now we have Halloween and Cross Stitch. 
So when I bought this chart, I did not realize how big it was. Um, designer is Core E Betacor. Um, I just love it. Would you consider that a sampler? Should I consider that a sampler for September? Considered it because like I saw it and I'm like, oh man, I want to work on this because Halloween is coming. Not like I'm gonna finish it by Halloween, not unless I worked on it exclusively. So this is on 28 count T dyed Monaco. There's where I am. I just love it. And that's my dog running around. All right, let's see. But yeah, this is a big one. It's a, it's a bat. This one is, oh, winter chalkboard. So I don't have a picture of this one um, because it's on my tablet, but I'm using 28 count uh, black jobelin. And that's where I'm at. So this was, uh, Kathy Haberman had designed this and then it went into, um, it was on a calendar, one of the keepsake calendars, and then Hoffman's owns the rights to it. So we were able to get the chart, but she, that's why she did the Let's Talk series. She's actually going to do a different one for winter for that series. So this is the original, and then she created um, the four seasons for the Let's Talk series. So I'm still doing it. I still want to do it. Uh, I just, I just need to pick it up and work on it, right? And then I love this one so much. So this is another core Evadacor. Um, it's called Lavender Farm. And I guess this could maybe be a sampler too, huh? I think so. So this one, I actually had started... What day did I start this? January 25th. My granny, my mom's mom had gone down to her house in Georgia. My granny lives in Michigan and had, my mom lives in Georgia now. And she had gone down there and she had planned on staying until spring. So I was like, I want to make this for her, for her room because she, my mom had asked her what she wanted, um, what color she wanted. And she picked like a, two different shades of purple, I think for her room. And so I really wanted to stitch this for her. Well then, um, some things happened and she decided to go back early. And then my motivation on this just fizzled hard. So I've picked it up a couple of times, but um, here's where it is right now. And this is, I think it's mushroom. Nope. 28 count lamb's wool jubilin. Um, I still love it. I, oh, I just, it's so pretty and the fabric is so nice to stitch on. I mean, really, you can give me Jobelin any count, probably, and I'll stitch on it. I really like it. But um, I have decided that this is probably just going to be for me now because I don't think... My granny just turned 90. Uh, I don't see her traveling again down to my mom's. And I'm a little worried what would happen to something I gifted her um, at this stage. I'm worried I want to get it back. So. It's me and Owen riding diamond. Okay, why don't you go give it to Owen? And then make sure you're paying attention, okay? okay. For when Mr. Ricketts comes back on. Okay. okay. So I'm probably just going to keep this for me. Plus, purple's my favorite color. I, I do not like the smell of lavender in the least, but... Purple is my favorite color, so. These next ones were Mania Starts. Um, this one was May 5th. That's Love Tree from the Trilogy. And this is another one of those. Just one day's worth of work on it. Oops. One more day and it'd be done. So you're going to see that with these next couple ones. Because the next one is Halloween Tree Spooky. This one is maybe like 
two days worth of work. Unless I could, if it was like a rainy day and I could sit and stitch for hours. But still, it's not that much. So these were Mania Starts, and they were on, they're on uh, 28 County Tea Dyed Monaco. And then I had... I still have a bunch of floss in here, so that's why the bag's so heavy. So we have uh, Doggy String from Lizzie Kate. You guys are going to laugh. Yep, that's, that's what I did that day. So I started this on the 26th of May. I don't know if I was just having a bad day, if I was fizzling out. I don't know what was happening. Um, these two strings are in 28 count mushroom Lugana. And the next one is kitty string. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's it. As far as I got. So, um, yeah. I need to get cracking on those, right? Um, they're, they're adorable, but I, I think I just wasn't feeling them that day. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we talked about Game of Swans. All right. So almost Halloween from the drawn thread. This was also a mania start. I do not know what happened to my plastic. It is like rippled, but at least the chart's fine. Uh, this one is on 28 count tea dyed Monaco and I did get the called for threads for it because they're thread works. So that's where I'm at right now. This one I would like to get done by Halloween. So I have a feeling, uh, if I need like a take along project, you know, where it would be easy to sit and do something like this. Um, I might take this one. Because I really like that. Hey guys, he's back. It's me, my me. There we go. Keeps drawing pictures. He must be done with his work. Uh, next up, BAP. <laughs> this is Kringles. Um, I am laughing at myself thinking that I actually thought this was going to get done by Christmas. This was a mania start. Um, I know this is going to be a little bit hard to see. This is on 28 count Whisper Lugana. <laughs> that's it. That's some of the snow that's on the roof of the Kringles department store. Oh my... It's a great fabric, though. It's amazing. <laughs> Can that be considered a sampler? Since it has, you know, like, <laughs> different rooms. Uh, and finally, oof, I don't know if I could, I didn't think I could reach that one. So we have, this is another Mania start. This is Cheer from the Trilogy. So, of course, it's little, and it's almost done. Right. And the last one, last but not least, is Spring String from Lizzie Kate. I started all my, my strings except for Snowy String because I thought I was going to start that for um, Jolly July, and then I didn't do Jolly July. So, um, that one is up with the rest of my holiday charts, but... That's as far as I got on this one. I got a little bunny rabbit. So, yeah, there's, I mean, there are some small projects that could really stand to um, just get touched for a day and they'd be done. So, and there's some really big ones that would take a little bit more than that. I'm going to attempt to put some of these back in there. I have this big wire basket. Let's see if I can show you. That I got from Hobby Lobby. And it actually fits all of those fantastically. Um, 
these out of the way. So that was my whip parade. I have, according to this, I have 32. Yeah, because the very first one in here is done. I have 32 whips, which is not bad. It's not bad. Um, but I really want to get those pared down because you know, new stuff is still releasing all the time. Every week there's a new chart that comes out and I just want to be able to enjoy the new stuff too. So I got sucked in back a couple of months ago. Um, Aaron to Martini Stitcher was working on Hello Pumpkin from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And I watched as she finished that up and I just loved it. And it was so cute, but I never pulled the trigger on it. And I was like, I knew eventually I would get it. Um, but then they came out with Hello Dear. So this is Hello Pumpkin. Just in case you've never seen it. They came out with Hello Dear. Hello Dear starts the end of this month. And it is a mystery stitch along, just like this was when it first came out. Um, I couldn't resist. So I need to go through my fabric and see what I've got that I can use for it. Um... I just love there's it, this I mean the tree is just adorable so I can't wait to see what hello dear looks like so I'm jumping in on that um <laughs> on that bandwagon um and then I got this this is um from charting creations I've never done any of their full coverage charts before but I loved this this is Christmas pixie she's just so pretty and I looked at the chart because I wasn't sure if this was just done on dark fabric and this wasn't stitched. This is stitched. This is this is full coverage. So, um, I was debating because it looks like it's solid. So I was debating just getting a darker fabric, but do I want to stitch a full coverage piece on dark fabric? I don't know. Um, and then I got... Scoot over here and grab it. It slid away from me. The only thing I got in the mail was this fabric that I ordered from Bestitch Me. Sorry. It's called Artemis, and this is a 32 count Lugana. It's so pretty. I wonder how Hello Dear would look on this. Hmm. You'll have to do a little looking and see. Um, I got the like the welcome letter for Hello Dear, so I need to look at the colors. Maybe I'll floss toss on this and see what it looks like. It's pretty. It's a pretty piece of fabric. Thanks, Brandy. And I just ordered. This wasn't like a Friday night fight night or anything like that. I just um, went on the website. And I was like, I love that color. So, guys, I think that's it. Wow. This might be my first hour-long video. So, um, yeah, that's it for this week. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, let me know down below. Um, I will put my whips in the description box and then the groups from Facebook. But I'm definitely not going to list all of these whips out. That would take take a long time. It would take time away from stitching, so I'm not going to do it. But um, I hope you guys have a great week. This weekend here in the States is Labor Day weekend. We are going to go to my mother-in-law's. Um, it's tradition. Everyone comes to her house for Labor Day weekend. We have cookouts. We have um, my brother-in-law takes his camper, and they sleep in that. Um, we have a room in the house that we stay in, and... We have very many adult beverages. We play um, bags or, you know, I know there's a whole bunch of different names for it, but um, hang out by the fire. So it's a lot of fun, and um, we're hoping that at least some of them can make it um, within reason because we can definitely social distance at her house. It's not hard to do. Um, but, yeah, so that's our weekend. I'm hoping to get some stitching done. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done, but today for sure I'm going to finish up uh, 
the stitches on this and then might have time to bust out game of salons which would be awesome I just got to dig out my other Q snaps and see if I can make a good size to hold on to so um I think or I may just do that one in hand I may just do that one in hand be faster we'll see we'll see what my stitches look like on the fabric I used a Q snap when I worked on it before so um but yeah I hope you guys have a great week I can't wait to see what everyone else is working on for September. I've watched a couple videos um, from the last day or two. So I'm slowly getting caught up on the floss tube. <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys next week. Have a good one, guys. Bye.